Hey everyone, it's Ashley here from AscensionNXT.com and today I am doing a reading for Sunday the 28th and Monday the 29th. And please subscribe to my YouTube page and there will be more daily readings to come for this week. Um, we just got off a week where I do the ABC readings, pick a card readings on Facebook page. So you can follow me on the Ascension NXT Facebook page and I go live and I pick cards for people that are watching. So I alternate every week into doing daily readings on YouTube and then the live videos on Facebook. So definitely check those out. Today I am going to be using Barbara Moore's The Mystic Dreamer Tarot. This is the book from the tarot deck because I don't have the case on me. I actually have them wrapped up because that's how I travel with them. So I'm just going to unwrap those, these cards. And I am, whoop, just dropped my candle there. And I am also using the Starman Tarot by David DeAngelis. So we got two tarot decks today. Usually I mix them up with an oracle, but I've been told to use two tarots. So let's see what's coming out. Um, also too, I have my really cool Sears candle that I made personally. I actually stole one for myself. This one doesn't have a sticker on it, but you can actually order this on the website. It's hand poured by me. I made a mess out of this one, so I kept it for myself, but I think it's really pretty. And it actually has a really big amethyst in there. It's like an amethyst point that's like that big. So when you order it, you get a nice big crystal with it, but you have to burn the candle to get it. So, and I love this candle, it works really well. Let's see what's coming up for the 29th and the 30th. How are we going to start off this week? And move into May. I can't believe it's already May. Here we are. Moving along in 2019. So let's see what we get. It's okay, being told to shuffle both of them. And then pick these cards. I like to shop like this. Mm, being told to pull that card out. That's always a fun card. Let's see what comes out with. This is my favorite deck. This is the Mystic Dreamer Tarot. I use this all the time when I'm reading people, when I'm reading myself. I just love the pictures on it and the feeling that I get from the deck. It's actually the first time that I had like a tarot reading. This person used this deck, so I think it's really cool. Oh, geez. What do we have in the beginning of the week? All right, let's pull some from the Starman Tarot. I'm going to separate them into three piles. Oh, wow. Ace of Wands. Okay. All right, so the first two cards I pulled, Five of Wands, focus in on that, and then we also have the Six of Cups, but that came in upside down. So I like to read the upside down version. Then we have the High Priestess, which that's a really fucking crazy looking High Priestess. In the Ace of Wands. So, just by the way that these cards are laid out, I see, like, obviously, this is a competitive card. Anytime that this card comes in, it's like competition, jealousy, envy, all of those fun things coming up. And this card, to me, is an inner child card, innocence. Um, it's like seeing the light within the darkness, so when there's a lot of shit going on, it's like looking at the bright side, but it's upside down. So to me, it means that the beginning of the week, it could be your, like, com I feel like it's combat in the mind 
combat in the mind is what I keep getting. I'm not so sure if you're going to see this with people around you. I mean, some of you can, um, but I feel like for most of us, because this is a collective reading, I feel like that this is what's going on up here. Oh, yep. And my candle that I'm doing for my spell is flickering. And I didn't want the camera on that because that's something else separate I'm doing and I don't want it on camera. But anyways, that's confirming because the one of the intentions for me lighting that is actually... Um, how do I explain it without talking about the spell? It's to just help myself. It's, it's just to help me move forward in layman's terms. And uh, that candle started flickering. So to me, it's like really watch your thoughts in the beginning of the week. Watch what you say about yourself. Watch what you say about others. Watch what you spend your time on. Watch like or pay attention to what you keep thinking about because the energies coming in in the beginning of the week are really going to try to deter you from the steps you're supposed to be taking because then we have the high priestess card. So this is again, this is only for Sunday and Monday, so I can't wait to see what's coming up for the next like couple days. Um it's funny, this high priestess card is all green. So to me, Oh my God, look at this. And then we have the heart chakra right there. And I usually sit more, I don't know. I usually, like, I, I, I turn my chair to the side for some reason. So it's like really connecting with the heart. So Sunday and Monday, it's all about connecting with the heart. You don't want to be too much in your head. All right? Come on, man. I didn't do this on purpose. Like, how weird is that shit? High Priestess is all about your inner magic, your, your knowledge, your wisdom, your experience. It's that divine feminine strength. And it's also just, um, the High Priestess is always in a sense of being too. She's not really like the magician that goes out and creates or the fool that goes out and starts a new journey. She's just in her temple and people come to her. So however you want to take that message, take it. But really watch your thoughts for the beginning of the week because you're setting yourself up for the rest of the week. And then the next card that we have is the Ace of Wands. So one thing that I always remember about the Ace of Wands that has always stuck with me is that a lot of the times Ace of Wands is, is an opportunity opening up, but it doesn't last. So if you're not in the right state of mind, what this is showing me, you're not going to seize the moment. You're not going to catch the opportunity. And how many times are we always like, I'll do that later. I'm not ready for that. Um, I need to wait for this person to do it. So this right here in the beginning of the week is kind of like a little warning to you. Watch what you say, watch what you say about yourself, and I really don't think that you should wait. So if something comes in, you really need to jump on it and do it. And they're telling me to pull one more card. These are supposed to be really qu quick readings. Is it one of these? Yes. Is it this one? No, it's this one. Okay. Ooh, okay. So we have the Seven of Cups. So the Seven of Cups can be a tough card too. Because the Seven of Cups is all about what decision should I make? There's a lot of choices. So if you rid those negative thoughts and that heavy energy, then you're going to know the whatever is in these little cups that is best for you is going to stick out to you. If you're in that like foggy mindset, you're not going to see the light in any of these. You're not going to see like the the glistening crystal on the chalice that you should choose. They're all going to look the same to you. So it's like clouded imagery coming in for the beginning of the week. So please look at that. Oh my God, like they like match so good. Okay, so, <laughs> it's so weird. All right. I forgot what I was gonna say, but um, yeah. So definitely some choices coming up for you this week and don't allow this to deter you from the right ones. All right, so you can check me out on ascensionnxt.com. You can purchase the candle on ascensionnxt.com as well. And I will see y'all soon. Bye.